player of the game is the senior out of Southern High School, Bob Johnson, as he's now part of the undisputed Big Five City Championship team, LaSalle Explorers. He's courtside with the shot. It's Stefanski right now. Gentlemen. Bobby, you played a real nice game. Are you expecting St. Joe to come this hard out of here? Oh, yeah, it's a typical Big Five game. You know, it's the last game of the season for us in the Lionel. And our championship for us. And, uh, you know, we knew they were going to play hard there at the field house. And uh, we came out a little sluggish at first. And our defense, we didn't really play too much defense at all during the game. So we just started out strong. A lot of people say that the Big Five doesn't have this and that now on campus sites. But does the Big Five Championship mean a lot to you, the people in the South? Yeah, this is our first uh, Big Five Championship since I've been here four years. Last year we split it with Temple. And, uh, you know, this year we wanted to win it outright. And we came in here and played a tough game, a tough team, and won it. Throwing the contest, it didn't seem like Coach Morris was real happy with your play. I don't know if it was defense or rebounding, but he, he put you back in the lineup. Uh, he was real unhappy with my defense. Uh, for the most part, you know, I was letting guys get open jump shots and go on uh, body. And uh, he wasn't really too concerned about my offense because he knew I could shoot the ball and was going to make us a good pass every now and then. So, uh, you know, he was really concerned about our defense for the whole team. Shoot the ball, you can. You had 24 points a season high, eight three pointers. Uh, I know you're looking for him, but you've only been shooting like 28, 29% of the three point rate. Now you got it going again. Uh, you know, I've been struggling all season, shooting from the heart. And uh, this, tonight, you know, I came out, I was real loose. And uh, after the coach got on me, I knew I had to do something. And shooting the ball is the to what did it to me. And it's not a bad time to shoot the basketball late in the season when you're going to the tournament time. Yeah, typically, like last year, I would come out early in the beginning of the season, shoot the ball real well, and slack off towards the end. But right now, I hope I'm trying to prove that the right part of the season is going into the tournament time. Uh, great game, and good luck. Thank you. Thank you. Now I have Coach Speedy Morris who did a little bit of yelling at, at my man here. <laughs> you know, Bobby Johnson had a good game. You were mad at him in the beginning when he wasn't playing defense. defense. They said, play this kind of defense that you taught at Bonner, the kind you always play. The worst defense I ever saw. I can't believe it. Give St. Joe's credit. I mean, they just picked us apart. Uh, you know, I, I think we did a poor job, but they did a great job. They were seven for nine in the first half from three. And it was, I'll tell you, it was a shootout. And we knew it was going to be tough. That, that score is so misleading, that final score. Uh, but we're proud of the kids. They hung in there. Lionel Simmons is such a great kid and competitor. He's up there back slapping everybody. He had his worst game in a couple years. Again, maybe give St. Joseph or give St. Joseph credit. They did a great job on him. When he's passing the ball again, he became a passer. He's just a terrific player. Speedy, I know the Big Five, we hear a lot of things, but Big Five is special to you. Winning the Big Five outright? Uh, there's no question. Uh, you know, I'm a, I'm a Big Five traditionist. I even watched you play. or sit the bench. But, you know, it, it means a lot to us. Certainly it means a lot more to me. The, the many tournaments we've won, uh, you know, it's just very special. Two years ago, Eddie, we were 0-4 and won 24 games. All four games we could have won, we lost close ones. Same thing this year. And we're 4-0. Coming in today, we won 3 by 5. We beat Penn by 3, Temple going over by 1 each. You know, and, and, to, and win at Temple and win here, I think it's, it's very special. The kids deserve all the credit. They don't hang their head. I don't care how much I holler at them, scream at them. They, they just play. And uh, no, I'm proud of them. Good luck and good luck for the rest of the season. You did some good coaching, even I said that. I don't believe it. I don't believe you ever said that. <laughs> good luck. That's Speedy Morris. He's won his first Big Five championship outright, and he's a happy Speedy Morris, Mario Rosen. All right. Nice job, Ed Zabansky, with the coach. So the uh, last remaining Big Five game will be the Temple Owls and the Villanova Wildcats, and that now will be a game for second place in the Big Five. We'll have that for you February the 21st because LaSalle has won the Big Five City Series. They are 4 and 0. They win it tonight at the St. Joseph's Fieldhouse. Nice job, Coach Morris. Hey, John. Speedy's walking over saying hi to some people behind us. This is uh, Lionel Simmons' last game as a Big Five player. Only had 12 points tonight. It was a night for Bob Johnson to have 24. Doug Overton had 26. Randy Woods responded with 17. Jack Hurd with 11 in double figures. A game that St. Joseph's came out and scored 17 of the first 20 points in the second half and built themselves a nine-point lead before LaSalle came back and really played like the nationally ranked power the name to come and ran away and hid the final score 93-76. to A brilliant job by Speedy Morris getting his team through the Big Five and a brilliant job by our crew to bring it all to you. We've got one more Big Five basketball game coming up for you. That'll be Villanova and Temple. Until then, I'm Larry Rosen. Thanks for...